this is the uh, open it phantom tree my phantom tree that cause it had some crash and broken the arm yes. looks like this and it broke hey sorry oh yeah this side it's broken so when I open this I figure out uh, some people asking what kind of motor type of the Spandam 3 so I found this if you can see this there is a typing 2 22 and 95 so that is the uh, type of the brushless motor for DJ Spandam 3 standard and then I found this uh, where's the gimbal here the gimbal if if you all can see this inside the gimbal okay and so I got my other hand uh, and in the camera so if you can see this this is the uh, uh, controller for the gimbal and this one is the antenna this is for the antenna of the gimbal and there is two antennas one is antenna for controlling the gimbal and one is the antenna for uh, transmitting the, the picture from the camera so where, where exactly those two cameras uh, those two antennas okay if you already open this you can see that there is two antennas inside on the bed battery side one side in there and one side in there so if you can see sorry for the checking camera this is the one antenna this is for the transmitting the uh, video and telemetry of course and this one if you can see but i don't know can you see but i can see it there's another square antenna that is for the receive gimbal's operation so the gimbal can going up and down is from this antenna so this camera and gimbal unit has two cameras, uh, i'm sorry has two antennas and also so how about the controlling this is the controlling antenna this is the receiver of 5.8 gigahertz and it has two antennas one going down to this light and as you can see here one for the light and one at this side so why there is two antennas and at this side and this side because when the aircraft going uh, uh, this direct this way direction this antenna can receive this antenna can receive signal and also when it's going this direction this antenna can receive so this unit this quadcopter can still receive the, tra the transmitting of 5.8 gigahertz from the remote control and what else I, I found uh, if you want to do something for modification you want to do mod for the 5.8 gigabytes gigahertz you only took or take this these antennas to the maybe a clover clover leaf antennas or mushroom antennas i don't know uh, but if you want to make this camera still transmitting with a good range you can also change the square and then inside here and inside there that's what i found and uh, uh, oh yeah and one thing i found uh, uh, one of the legs is this side if you all can see this this is not 
the antenna so this this quadcopter has three cable on its legs one two and three one and two is the antennas and this is the compass how can how i can i know this is a compass because when i see the i saw the uh, cable it goes here this is the compass okay so how about the other antennas is there any other antennas yes there is a gps antennas and the gps antennas look at at located at the top side of the uh, top shell of the body so that's all i found maybe yeah, you can do some experiment for this antenna for phantom 3 standard phantom 3 standard is a great quadcopter and i just found the type of these motors I, I I will I will not know what inside and how it works for the antenna if I don't crash my aircraft. So this is the good side from the aircraft uh, crash. Now I will try to fix this arm because it's not. You can see this, if you can see. This, it's not aligned well so this uh, this going up at this degree and it's going up at this degree so i have to make it back to that side but i don't know i i think it cannot it cannot be like that so maybe i will change this uh, bottom cover and the top cover with a new one or I have an idea to move all this unit to the F45 4015 frame. Yeah, that will be great, I think. So, here's what I did I'm using the glue, uh, plastic glue and i combine them and put back all the separated plastic and now i just reassembly and i hope it can work well this is the glue what i use it's a liquid liquid glue so when this glue contact the plastic it will make a heat yeah and I'm using some cotton to to make the heat so the cotton I, I put the, the glue first and then the cotton and then another glue so it produce a heat that just make the separated plastic bin together let's see if it works not yet put my gimbal here lights on and waiting for connecting this uh, remote to the drone still not connected yet So 
maybe I just have to I just have to um, uh, put this to the ATTI mode Not yet, not connected yet. Okay, I think it's connected because the lamp is blinking constantly now. This lamp is still showing the red. It's, it's not. It's not the meaning that it's not disconnected. It's not connected. But red, red lamp means disconnected from the phone. I'm not using a phone, so it's still red. Yeah. Okay, so I did it. I did uh, fix this arm, and I think it's strong enough. See, it's strong enough, just like before. So I think I have to try for flight. Let me take it to the field. See you there. So now let's try. <laughs> so now let's try how it's fly after. Where's the broken? Here. After fixing the broken wing. I hope it can it can fly normally. This time it's without a gimbal. So guys, I think it's going normal now. So guys, this thing can fly normally so I think I'm not going to change the frame. I'm still using the same frame. I'm not I will not using the 450 frame okay guys thank you for watching see you next time bye